They cake tea, 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 tea. Yo, Pop, that's that knock right there, boy. <laughs>
Uptown first lady with the cheddar and the purse, baby. Make you bounce to a hurt, baby. Jews, you can love and hold. Don't confuse it. Mona's only here to please you with the music. Wonder, but you can't have her. We gon' riot if they try to grab her. She too young to be that. I will please you if I had the chance to, boo. 16 and not a dream about romancing you. You see me with the locks back then on Yonkers blocks. Now I pay dough to see you blow it up in the spots. Me and you, boo. No champagne. We could drink a you who Take a trip to grade A and chill with the whole crew. You now I lose, dude. Spending ain't nothing. After we could take the locks, y'all on the huts. I see that look in your eyes. It's made in me. And every time that you smile, I can't even speak. Don't want these feelings to change. They'll always be true. I will forever with me and with you. Oh, no. Jigga man be ballin', leave chicks pigeon toed, some of them be crawlin', get the best of you whenever I put my all in, have mommies callin' for the Lord, darlin', Jigga and Paulin', ass drop, coops with half the top, expose half my knot, nigga mad when I brag about the cash I got, but I'm used to not having a lot, I'm from the gutter and uh, I ain't the type to ever chase your box, I'm the type to interior decorate the watch, I'm the type to sling, heavyweight on the block, in every state I clock, work Jiggas to hurt, holla. Your lips are telling me why you kissing on my neck? Making me feel so Should I stay? Should I go? I don't know Your whole boy style Drives me wild But in the back of my mind I know oh, 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 oh. I wanna see How you put the thing I can't let you
slip mode. 9-7. Bust a bust. Hatch. Check it out. Hit you with no delay into what you saying, yo. Silly with your ice, grilly with the dilly, yo. When I be on the mic, yes, I do my duty, yo. While up in the club, like we while in the studio. You know when the violin, baby, really and truly, yo. My main thug, villain named Julio, he moody, yo. Type of brother that'll slap you with the tulio. yo. Real shook, scared to death, act fruity, yo. X that, look at shorty, she a little cutie, yo. The way she shake it, make me wanna get all in the booty, yo. Top mistress of the banging misses and videos. While I'm with my freak, like we up in the freak shows. Hit you with the shit, make you feel it all in your toes. Hot shh, got all my people in red clothes. Tell them I'm at the force when I formulate my flows. If you don't know, you're messing with lyrical player pros. Do like you really that. wanna party with me? Let me see just what you got for me. Put all your hands with my eyes to see. Straight buck violin in the place to be. If you really wanna party with me, let me see just what you got for me. Put all your hands with my eyes to see. Straight buck violin in the place to be. Sit back and chill. Yeah. Give me a second and let me tell you how I feel. It's all around town, you've been stepping out. Running your mouth about what make you think I wouldn't find out. Was I not there for you? Truly care for you? Maybe my love was just too much. Could have had a good night, love is gone. And was back to your head with the 50 for 11s on. Cause unless you with the fine thing, he can't make you wanna scream his name. Cause he hit it from the front to back. Clef Jean, BKS1 Radio, let's go. This is Essence Atkins, and this is BKS1 Radio. Hi, this is Melba Moore, and you're listening to BKS1 Radio. Yo, check it out. What's the deal? This is the chef. Giving a big shout out to my peoples, Big KS, you already know what it is. Salute. What's up? It's your girl, Monifa, and I'm hanging with BKS1 Radio. Hi, I'm Ian LaVanzan, and you're listening to BKS1 Radio. BKS Radio, baby. <laughs> hey, this is Jasmine Guy for BKS1 Radio. What's going on? This is Lamont Rucker, and this is BKS1 Radio. Shout out to BKS1, the best kept damn secret in the business. Hey, what's up? This is Raven Goodwin from BT's Being Mary Jane, and shout out to BKS1. Hi, this is Leon, you're watching BKS1. BKS one. God bless y'all. BKS one dot com. With Chanel and Queen B. Hello and welcome to BKS1 Radio. It is the Owl Show and it's your girl Chanel. And I'm here, of course, with the wonderful Miss Bestie, Miss Queen B right here. We are here you guys, in the building. We are here in the building. You guys just walked out to DJ KT Da Voice. Can I say Da any harder, right? <laughs> you guys just <laughs> rocked out to DJ KT Da Voice. 
for the last 20 minutes or so. Anybody that's looking for a DJ, it's the holiday season. Uh, holiday parties are, you know, going on. We like to eat. We like to drink. But we like to dance and we like to hear music. Absolutely. So if you need a DJ for your holiday parties, please hit up DJ KT The Voice. Give them your Instagram and your uh, Facebook handle. Hey, y'all. It's DJ KT The Voice. Oh, am I on? You Test on. One, you on. Okay. Um, Instagram is K-A-Y-T-E-E underscore D-A-V-O-I-C-E. KT The Voice. Okay. All right. So if anybody is looking for a DJ for any of your events, please make sure you hit up DJ KT The Voice or hit us up. Hit us up in our DMs and we will definitely make sure we connect you because let me tell you something. I have been at events that she has DJ'd and mm -hmm. all I'm going to say is you're going to be on the floor all night. Mm -hmm. She yeah. DJ'd a baby shower and people was on the floor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... All I'm saying is, if you need a DJ, she is available. She let let us all know, let her know, let us know, and you guys can uh, uh, grab her and rock out for your event. In the meantime, Queen B, yes, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's seven o'clock. Yes, or now it's seven twenty, and uh, we are here. We are in the building again, one more time. Glad to be in the service. One more time. Okay. All right. So, how has your week been since we were here last Tuesday? Week is great. So I went to see her with Serenity, my okay. daughter. Shout out to her, who was a complete trooper. H E R. Explain it to people who don't know. H E R. The artist. The uh, there you go. The artist. So she was actually really, really good. Okay. And I just found out she's twenty one years old. Really, really good. Very young. She reminds me of Prince. Okay. Because remember, Prince could play every single instrument, mm -hmm. and this girl could play every single instrument super she's talented. a drummer she's a you know yes yeah, she's super mm -hmm. talented so mm -hmm. i'm excited okay i was excited i was excited i rocked out oh i made a facebook post as well i got over my fear of driving to new york oh look at you so i'm super happy i'm not riding I only in the did car it for with her. you though <laughs> i will not i only I did it for not. her <laughs> what we do for our kids like we got right. there safe because i'm not doing that from whatever ahead. we got we got there <laughs> we got there safe um so we're good we rocked out and um she got to meet her and okay. she was super excited and we had a good time nice all so. right all right kt how was your week i mean no not week we haven't seen kt in, in like, like three weeks you was on somebody cruise time. somewhere I sure was i know so what's going on with you i went on a, my first cruise um oh, we went to key west sick? And no, I didn't get. Oh, sick. good. Oh, good. You, you actually can't even feel it. That's like, what I say to everybody. Yeah, it was like one night where it was a little rocky, but okay. other than that, like you couldn't feel anything. Good, but good, good. I loved it. It was great. It was like eighty degrees. Nice. Ugh, I shouldn't jealous. have said that. And you came back to cold. this, like yes. okay. Came jealous, back to jealous. this. But yeah, it was a family trip, which you know we haven't um, linked up in a while, so okay. Nice. It was good to see the family and hang out, and you know enjoy the sun and okay. Be on the water. And now you back here with us. Yes, I am. Are you happy to be back I here with us? I am happy because it's been a while. I haven't seen y'all. So. See? Okay. Everybody's always happy to be here. Mm. Segway. Segway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. So, goodness. <laughs> um, Go ahead. Let me see. Last last week. No. Um, no. Uh, my week has been good. Um, you know, it's the holiday season, everybody. So yes. between last week and this week, it has been Thanksgiving. So... You know, how much weight has everybody gained since uh, Thanksgiving for not all of us that had to cook, Chanel. had to eat, do everything? It's not important. You know, it's How much we, weight we've gained is not important. I know, right? I like, know who, who wants to talk about that? that boat because it was just food, yeah. food, food. So yeah, okay. We won't I'm good. Well, I'm sure nice. I've gained something in the last <laughs> week with everything because I ate like a pig. So, oh, right. you know, uh, I'm just saying. But in the meantime, I also got to relax, too. So I had, a, you know, a few days off from work. So, you know, it was good. I, I, I think my vacation time was good. But we're back here in the studio and we want to take care of some business. So, yes. uh, Queen B, you go ahead. For everybody who is so watching, go ahead. we are doing a showcase as a give back uh, project. Hope presents open mic and holiday um, showcase fundraiser. So KT will be performing, KT! and we have a lot of other artists like Abyss um, and everyone. So it'll be at um, Express Sports Bar on um, December eighth. Sign up, family. Sign up, please. We put it on Facebook for you to sign up for your children with their ages and sizes and toys they want and all of that other stuff. And no one has signed up. So I'm going to need you guys. It's on December 8th. Doors open at 8. So I'm going to need you guys to sign up. Okay. Sign up so we can um, bless families. And then we have also we will be giving away turkeys and all that other stuff. So okay. please come. And, 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 and we're hosting it? 
We're we're hosting it. Listen, I she said Sign we were, so I'm yes. just you know we are hosting. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so it'll be it'll be a lot of artists, which um, and open mic. So if anybody is interested in doing poetry or um just songs or anything clean rap, um, I got some clean raps. Right, not you, um. <laughs> so if you are interested in doing that like i said some families have to sign up we only had uh 13 families sign up and we definitely need more than that okay so okay. come in and yes it's gonna okay, be and fun that is when december 8th all right now that's december 8th fast forward to december 15th yes. which i can't wait okay everybody december 15th bks1 radio is having their holiday party and their open mic event at zulu ba in west orange so everybody please come out we really just want to say thank you to everybody who right. supports bks1 radio thank you to everybody who supports not only our show but all of the, all shows, the shows that are here on bks1 Absolutely. radio come out party with us it's a nice event it's a nice atmosphere we're going to have live music we're going to have it's going to be a full live event and we're going to have fun we're going to be there i'm sure we're going to be on the mic hosting something but at the same time um it's a full party so Make sure you guys come out. Uh, we'll be sharing it on our pages. We have been sharing it previously. Yes. We're going to continue to share it on our pages. So it's the holiday party for BKS1 Radio and open mic events. So everybody, make sure you come out. Just come out and party with us. So for everybody who's watching, everybody that's watching right now on my Instagram post, everybody who is watching us on Facebook, YouTube, BKS1 Radio webpage, if you're listening to us on the TuneIn app right now, however it is you're watching or listening to us, come out and party with us. Please. Like Y'all could come and... And B, we could be as one, you know what I mean, for the holiday season. So make sure you guys come out and do that. Um, all right, so that was uh, taking care of some business. Is that all business? No? Um, we well, got the two we events. Oh, Mars and Venus. Mars, Venus. Oh, my gosh. So we want to make sure everybody tunes in. So this Sunday <clears throat> at uh, 11 a.m., right? Mars and Venus. We have been challenged. The ladies of the hour here have been challenged Yo, to a Mars Venus event. So for everybody who knows anything about BKS1 Radio, they have a man cave morning show every single morning from 10 to 12. You guys should make sure you tune in and watch. It's the man cave morning show. Tune they in talk with straight about, attitudes like I mean, this. I just feel like they got straight attitudes all the time. But anyway, we are having a show where we are combining the gentlemen from the man cave morning show and us here on the owl show. So it's going to be the men versus the women on a they're not ready. Number, I don't think they're ready. They're not ready. On a number of different topics. That's going to be Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. So not only uh, are we going to be live from here, but we're going to be videotaping this as well so that we can uh, repackage it and show you guys everything that's going to go on in studio. But guys, make sure you stay tuned for that because we're going to be talking about a lot of good topics. Yes. And you guys can chime in. We are actually going to have a few people who are going to be in the studio yes. with us, kind of like audience members. So let me know if... Um, any of you guys would like to do that? Um, okay. Business. No, because we need women to represent because they always... No, do they dominate? And, they and, really don't and dominate level us. And level-headed men, And level-headed men as well. Level-headed So headed it'll be this men. Sunday, level-headed men. Level so it'll be this men. Sunday. I'm going to say it again. At 11. Level-headed. And we need females on our side. Yeah. So please hit me up. We, yeah. need, we need females on our side. Yeah. Because yeah. they tend to think that, you know, they, they dominate they us. And it's more. not going to happen. Is it? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> he always does they, that. They think they Norm know always a does more. that. He says he says that it'll be a fair conversation. Now they think they know a we'll little see, more. It's than all we good. Do. We'll teach but you something. Yeah, it's all right. We'll teach you so something. So in the meantime, make sure you stay tuned for that. That is this Sunday, eleven a.m., right. December second, December eighth. We have our Project Hope event. December fifteenth, we have our holiday party at BKS One Radio. So you guys make sure you stay tuned and come out. Also, I just want to give a disclaimer. Okay, mm. uh, so for everybody who Shut my watches the show, number one, we thank you guys. We, and I thank you guys at the end of every show. We love you guys for watching. We love you guys for listening. Um, however, I, I, I do just want to do a quick uh, disclaimer or, or I don't know, talking point. I don't know what I want to call it. But in the meantime, um, this is still radio. This is radio. This is digital radio. This is also video, which means it's completely run by electronics. Right. This is not us sitting in our basements on uh, with a 
camera where you know my cousin is holding it this is live in a station every week broadcast everywhere yes. around the world i'm saying all that to say there is a time where you can potentially have technical difficulties absolutely just like you guys can watch channel two four six seven eight thirty two three hundred and seventy two and sometimes maybe something can happen or sound can go out or if you have a satellite something can happen the same thing can actually happen here in this very real radio station mm -hmm. However, so you say that to say, however, that does not negate the quality of our show. That does not negate the quality of whatever it is we are bringing to you. And it does not negate the quality of our conversation. So if we are ever have any technical difficulties here on our show, we do apologize um, from the beginning. Uh, it is never our intention for anyone who is watching or listening to uh, not be able to hear us or not be able to see us. But again, this is all electronics and my cousin isn't handling it. It's actually a live radio station. So if we do have that, we do apologize in advance. Do you need to... Um Add anything to that? Are we good? Uh, Chanel, I think I'm going to take the high road take on this Take the one. high road on I'm this I'm going to continue to take the high road on Do this Do that, one. sis. But just know that we interview a lot of celebrities. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have yes. been in a lot of platforms. Yes, and you're right. And we... Um, again, that like you said, it doesn't negate who we are and what no, we do. Not at all. Um, and you know what? You know what? What? You know what, Chanel? What, sis? My thing is, is that okay. when you want to fix a queen's hat, yeah, you don't do it publicly. Okay, you actually do it privately. Right. I respect you better like that. I would too. Mm. All right, sis. All right, that's Face it. Bump. Boop. Okay. okay. In the meantime, Take care of that. now for today's show, <clears throat> go ahead, sis. Today's okay, show. so we actually. <laughs> I'm super excited. This is we are um, interviewing and highlighting someone from um, our hometown, mm -hmm. uh, PHS mm -hmm. and um, PHS High School in Plainfield, New Jersey, which we rep really, really hard. We both are. Well, we all are. I'm sorry, KT. You know, we're in the same year, but we all are. Um, you keep trying to make me the same age as you. I, you've been doing this all night. Are, I don't even though. understand. You are, though. Go ahead. But you, um, <laughs> we are from um, Plainfield, and we don't always get to highlight people from our hometown. You're right. Um, but we are doing that today, and yes, I'm super are. excited about it. Um, mm -hmm. So we will introduce to you from um, left, my left to right, um, we have Miss Sheila Smith. Okay. We have <laughs> we have Janae Porter, okay, um, senior in PHS High School, okay, and we have her mother Lolita Porter, okay. So we are okay. super excited. <laughs> <laughs> we are super excited to have them on the show today. I want to just talk about um, this uh, dynamic young lady, and I want to wanted to bring um, Sheila Smith as the coach um, and her mom in. Um, I want to first uh, just talk to miss smith for a little bit in regards to why we are highlighting this young lady today why we are highlighting her yes okay. we'll get to that why we are highlighting her but i wanted to talk to you in regards to um just cheerleading in general your take on uh cheering and teacher being a teacher and all of that good stuff introduce yourself hi <laughs> it's one it's just talk <laughs> check it just talk Hello, everyone. Yes, um, I am Miss Smith, and I've been a teacher for years. <laughs> <laughs> for 31 years yes. at Plainfield High School, and a cheer coach for about 26. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So cheerleading is, is a different kind of sport. Mm -hmm. than all the other sports. And that's what I wanted you to bring out because a lot of times people do not acknowledge it as a sport. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely it a is a sport. Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, there are dimensions to cheerleading. You know, there's competitive and mm -hmm. then there's traditional cheerleading. Absolutely. And now we even have what is called stamp, uh, stump and shake, which is what the HBCU schools do a okay. lot of. Mm -hmm. But cheerleading has its own dynamic. It's really, really... Um, different wherein there's a bunch of girls who are organized member of a team cheerleaders a member of a team that's um that organizes cheers chants and dances and performs to uh p to support the other team the actual team basketball mm -hmm. football wrestling whatever the sport may be but the girls the young ladies 
are dynamic in this set themselves. Most of the young girls, especially the ones that I've had, and I've had a lot. I've had some. <laughs> You're one looking over at here, some. Yes. I uh, um, who are leaders. Right. They're smart. They're intelligent young ladies. They're kind. They're mm-hmm. leaders in the school in the community. So it provides uh, a different outlook for a lot of young ladies Absolutely. um i have girls who and as when they graduate from high school and they come back they're lawyers teachers doctors um entertainers DJs, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 just the whole gamut i mean yes. they do all kinds of things in life and i saw that i mean we see that in them when when they're in school and growing up so the leadership part of cheerleading cheerleader but not only are they are they leading on the field but they're leaders in the school and the community so it's a different it's very different and teaching i was born to teach we know that yeah i i, I love teaching i it's love, a gift it really is yes and i love it and I a love ministry every aspect yes of it. Mm-hmm. yeah um, and it's so good to see people come back as my students come back to me and and i see them it just warms my heart right like warm and fuzzy so my thing is is that i just want to really quick just um just delve into um the fact that i think that i will say that um teacher being a teacher is your ministry um because you not only teach but you are a mentor as well um and i know in my life I will say and I, I, I will publicly say that um, in my life, there are times when I've had hard times or just struggles when I had to actually stay in your home um, at a time. And um, and I did I that. I don't know if anybody knows that. No, but they do today. They and, do I, today. you know, I'm very transparent <laughs> yes, on the show. I know. I'm very okay. transparent on the show. But um, that I had to stay in your home that and I'm not the only one. It's It's been a revolving door. <laughs> it's been a revolving you door. Stay with them dogs, right? Yeah. Big old was scared to move. Horses. But they were not when I was there. Horses. <laughs> <laughs> Her <kids. laughs> but um I just wanted to say that that is your ministry and that's what you've been doing. I don't think that a lot of people acknowledge that what you do. Um and I just wanted to take the time to actually just acknowledge that part of you. Because sometimes course, it's yeah. it's yeah, it's just okay. not to me it's just not like it's funny, okay, you're you're deemed, you're kinda of put in a box and you're deemed a teacher and you're deemed a mentor, but I don't think people see that you feed people, you have fed people mm-hmm. and you have given money and you have paid for things and you have done a whole list of things that shall r- remain nameless, but You've done a, a lot of things, and I don't think, you know, I feel like God gave you the platform, and you just used it, you know, and that's my take that on you. Amazing. So well, I just I- wanted to publicly say that because I don't think I've ever had the opportunity. I thank you b- behind the scenes, but I don't think that anybody, I publicly didn't say, like, you made a difference in my life. And I was not a cheerleader. I, I laugh about I it, was. but I was not a cheerleader. I was not I a cheerleader, was. but on my days off at work, I literally used to come and sit with her in her classroom right, right, right. with her kids and, you know, do that. For an hour <laughs> or two yes. or three. Yeah, or the whole right. day. Or the whole day. Yeah. Exactly. So I just wanted to... um I just wanted to publicly say that and just bring you on um, because you know Janae and you know her mom. Um, and I wanted to um, delve into this dynamic uh, young lady who I have the pleasure of, and I'm biased, but I have the pleasure of knowing since she was a kid. Um, I fell in love with Janae because my story is very, very similar to Janae's. And I'm going to have her mom and her tell it, but um, I have a soft spot for adopted kids and I have a soft spot for um that because i was adopted um and uh our stories are very similar so that's the reason why i'm highlighting you today i'm highlighting you because i think you have uh overcome a lot of things um and you shine and i like that about and you're humble and i love that about you so we're Thank going you. to delve into and this one has been we'll pull up the little yeah the little cheerleading picture which one the little little one Cause she was a mascot. This one here. Before, yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> she was a mascot before, um, and I remember her just being able to walk and just being out there. But I wanted to first, Lolita, tell us. I won't have you talk yet. Tell Lolita, tell us a little bit about Janae and you know how <laughs> this one Norm is clapping. Like, mm-hmm. um, 
Okay, so everyone, now, if you didn't know, you know that Janae is adopted. Mm -hmm. She wasn't a foster child. She was a safe haven baby. Right. Um, back in 2000, 2001, they made up this new law for safe haven babies, drop off, no questions asked. So prior to that, one night I was up late looking at TV and it, I was like, oh, I'm going to call 1-800-ADOPT. That, it was just on a whim. Hmm. I went through the process and then maybe a year later they called me. Um, the, it, it was a lot of things we had to go through um, as far as getting my house checked to see what age I could have, what I wanted. I was lucky that I was lucky because Janae was almost legally free, meaning no attachment to anyone. Um, they called me. They was like, oh, we have a match and we're going to, we need you. I said, well, can, can I call you back tomorrow and let you know? They was like, no, you need to make the decision right now. I was like, oh, okay. You know, because... I used to watch all my friends' children. So we went, we go to the hospital, we're walking past this glass room, and it's babies. I'm like, wow, you know, we walk in, I'm like, oh, is that that one right there? You know, <laughs> because it was this little girl with all this curly hair. I was like, oh, that, is that her? It's like, no, that's her. I said, oh. <laughs> Okay, so they bring this little baby out, and I'm looking, and I'm like, all right. So we leave the hospital. We leave the hospital, and they drop me off at home, and I get in the house, and I'm like, what did I just do? Mm. So now it's me with this baby, and my mom helped a lot. Let her rest in peace. Um, so with this baby that I brought home, I didn't have a name or anything. I just went to get her, and I'm like, okay. And I have this friend whose name is Altarika. I was like, what are we going to name her? She was like, name her Janae. I was like, okay, Janae is the name. <laughs> and then I looked. I was like, she need a middle name. So then I looked, uh, and it was springtime. So... Aviana means spring, and that's a middle name. Now, well, when she gets to her part of the story, she'll let you know how she didn't change it and made it <laughs> fancy. But um, my thought for adoption was uh, straight out of high school, I worked at the welfare office. I used to see the people on the other side, and I used mm -hmm. to say, oh, I don't want to be there on that. It wasn't me. It was just people. I don't want to be on that side. So I felt like if I adopt her, then it's my responsibility. I don't have to worry about anybody else taking care of her. Or, you know, I just seen a lot of baby father drama, and I didn't want that. Right. And I don't have that. Right. What I had was support from my mom. When my mom passed away... That's when Miss Smith right. stepped in. She did not take the place of my mother, but she's a very strong person in my mm -hmm. in my life. Right. I look to her for everything. She's made me change uh, over the last hmm, ever since Janae was, <laughs> but and prior to Janae cheering because. She said Janae had to be five. So, <laughs> yes, I do so remember. So, I had that. to wait until she turned five, but I was working alongside of her. So, I was like, I just, the things that I used to do, like as far as being mean, <laughs> I couldn't do that because everyone in here knows Miss Smith will embarrass you yes, in she a will. minute. Yes, so, she will. I had a couple of those, no. and then I was like, "I she nope, say. I'm not saying nothing. I'm getting out the way." So what she you. really has, Miss Smith, has been a very big part <laughs> of my life of me changing. Yes, who 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 I was in the public. You know, I can't be with her because I'm helping her, and she's the coach. But they know I'm there, so they be like. All that cheerleading coach. Yeah, and you got to humble. You had to humble Smith yourself. said, if somebody come to back to me talking about if that cheerleading coach, they're going to automatically think it's me. So she helped me change the person mm. that I was. That wasn't a bad person. I, it was just a mean person. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, Janae? <laughs> 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 what are you going to say? So, um... So I, w I just want to talk to you about certain things as well. How do you feel? How did you feel? Um, and when did you learn that you were adopted? 
Um, well, I learned I was adopted at a very young age because it was one time when I had questioned, like, why are you brown and I'm white? Like, <laughs> it don't look okay. right. So then they had ended up telling me at a very young age. So okay. it was never like a secret that I was adopted. Mm -hmm. Around the age of probably three or four, I wow. probably learned when I was able to understand stuff. So, okay. yeah. D did I tell you you were special? Yeah, she told me I was special as well. Okay. Why? Because I was adopted. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so also, um, also, I wanted to talk to you about in regards to, so did you feel any type of way? Did I you? Mean, I was three, so I mean, I really don't remember the whole. When you got a little older. When I got a little mm -hmm. older. um, I questioned, like, well, I wonder what my mother. Of course. Like, the situation with her, like, why? Why mm -hmm. me? Um, I questioned, like, do I have any other siblings? Mm -hmm. Like, who do I look like? Like, who am I? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was really what I questioned a lot because I don't know my mother and I don't know any other people from my biological family. Okay. So, all right. That was mo mainly most of my questions that I had. So, you not, only, you not only had that, but you also had the challenge of hearing. I um, never, it was never a challenge of me hearing about the fact that I was adopted. It was never. No, no, no. Oh, You're hearing. hearing. Oh, hearing, <laughs> hearing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant like hearing the fact that no, I was adopted. No, no, no. Yeah, it's hearing. okay. Um, mm -hmm. Coupled with the fact that, you know, you were adopted and you felt a little different, you also had, have had challenges. In, and I'm not even going to say challenges. We shouldn't even use that term. But um, you've had um, some things with, with your hearing. And yes. I wanted to delve into that a little bit more. Because, honestly, your mom said you're special. And, honestly, this all of these things make you who you are. You understand that, right? Yes. So sometimes your triumphs are, are, are absolutely everything that makes you who you are and also catapults you to the next level in life as well. Because if you can overcome those things, you can overcome a lot of other things too. You know that, yes. right? Yes. So I just wanted to delve into that a little bit um, about your hearing and when you had to wear hearing aids and things like that. Um, when I first got my hearing, I believe I was five when I got my hearing right. aids. Um, yeah, I really wasn't feeling it at first. Like, I, I wouldn't wear them. It was uncomfortable. Okay. Like, I was, like, kids would tease me and stuff. But over time, I like, I grew to be, like, confident with my hearing. And I started wearing my hearing aids. The only reason why I didn't really want to wear them like that was because they were big, bulky. It was a new start for me. It was like I really wasn't feeling it. So, I want to yeah. ask Mom, how did you, when did you know or yeah. when did you recognize or realize that she was, um had some uh hearing After impairment all issues carrying on Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we would be doing homework and i would be talking to her and she'll be looking at me and i would be like don't look at me look at your paper Wh why are you not looking at that paper and uh. she's like this and so i'm like what's wrong you can't hear me like just saying right. that so i had a neighbor and she was and you know I explained, and one time Janae may have said she hear the ocean in her ear mm. or something of that nature. So I took her on several appointments to get her hearing checked, but it wasn't until I went to Children's Specialized Hospital mm -hmm. where they actually said she had a hearing problem. Okay. So And none of the other doctors had said anything they, previously. They said it was okay. Oh, wow. Okay. The, the, e, the ENT had an audiologist on site. She was like, nothing's wrong. Mm. So she kept talking about the water, and then I said, let me go to Children's Specialized Hospital. Mm -hmm. When I went, they tested her, and it was like, she has a hearing impairment, mm -hmm. yeah. and she needs hearing aids. Mm. So now I'm like, what? Hearing aid? What? Mm -hmm. So um, we were able to get assistance with, with her first pair of hearing aids. Mm -hmm. And at that time, they were bulky. They had, and they were tan. Mm -hmm. So it stood out. Notice, but like you could see them. Yeah. 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 So, and then she had, when she went to elementary school, because she was homeschooled, when she went to elementary school, she had to get an FM system. And that was something big and bulky that clipped on to the hearing aid, mm. so that made it even bigger. Yeah, but, but, yeah. Uh, uh, FM system. Yes. For, what it is 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 a is a system where the teacher cl clips on a mic in this little box, mm. oh. and it goes to her 
hearing aid. Mm. Before it used to, you have to clamp it so it was big and bulky. Now over the years it's wireless, Bluetooth. so you cannot see it. But she does not. She never wanted to use it in school. One when she was in Greenbrook, they had a room where it was a stereo system like like you hear us now yes that's how you would she would hear the teacher gotcha. that's how it would be in the room yeah they were talking to like a mic like this like they were walking around with a mic around the room oh so you would be able to hear in that in that manner yeah wow wow so it was she didn't use it hmm. that she was janae can read lips very well right at a young age she was I reading she lips <laughs> she a regular teenager uh -huh. <laughs> And she has She's select, a regular she, teenager. She has selective hearing on, yeah. on top. In the beginning, I did think it was selective right, hearing. Yeah. Right. I was like, she would hear. So so what we tried to do is, well, now she selective hearing again. <laughs> but we try to talk in front of her. If you right. talk behind her, she might hear, she might not. If it's more than one thing going on, mm -hmm. like with the band playing and cheering, yeah. it all, I, well, I can't explain it. She can explain it. Now, I wanted, now I wanted I to wanted, ask, yeah. is it complete hearing impairment or is mm -hmm. it just uh, it's, partial? It's moderate to severe. Moderate to severe. To severe. Moderate to severe. Yes. Okay. But as she goes, as she gets older, of course you know, you know your hearing it, it, it anyway. depletes. Yeah, 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 of course. So it's going to, Get worse. Get Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's just with age. That's what we do. Yeah. Our eyes and our ears are the things that go. Um, I just want to ask you because it, like it amazes me. How do you so you hear and I know you said if it's a lot going on, it's like a lot for you. How do you're cheering? Like, how do you yeah, do so that? You're a cheerleader. You're a cheerleader. Because I mean, now we're tying the yes, story we together. Yes, we want to tie the story together. With Smith and you and the cheerleading like, and the hearing impairment. You're a cheerleader and you have been that. Right. For a very long time. How do you, are you able to cheer, follow the steps and everything? I never mentioned the fact that Miss Smith actually uses that FM system now. She talks into my ear when she's sitting up in the stands. But she turns it off. <laughs> so I, she says, oh, I can't. But you know, a long time before we had the FM yes. system, Janae used to um, read my lips. Okay. When I would talk to the girls on the field. She was the only one that could understand what I would say because she would read my lips. And you're right, but and while other girls so are trying to hear look, you, and she can read your lips. Janae is actually a good lips. thing. Yes, yes. Right. but now that Ephraim system, I love it. But I only use it two games because she figured it out and she turned that hearing aid <laughs> off. Like I can't hear you; it's broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how is has it been a challenge for you at all? With cheerleader, I mean, yeah, it's sometimes with like the band and all of that. Sometimes they may be playing a song or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's hard for me to like hear what they're trying to play because it's like a lot instruments, like many right. different Absolutely. sounds going on at mm -hmm. one time. So like, well, what song is this? Like, what dance we got to do to this? So like, right. yeah, that's a challenge sometimes. As far as the girls calling cheers and stuff yeah. and us doing cheers, that's not really a problem to me because. Well, at least during football season because we're out in the open. So mm -hmm. it's not as muffled as basketball season. So when someone calls a cheer, you already kind of already know the words to the cheer. So, you know, okay, mm -hmm. well, they're calling this cheer. I can hear them call the cheer. So I just catch on with that. But during basketball season, that's a that's challenge a little, because yes. we inside and it's a lot of people talking mm -hmm. and all of that. Yeah. So and that's the echo. The echo of, the being echo being of the everything. Yes. Echo. Everything and bounces off. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I remember that. I remember that. See, I didn't get a chance to tell everybody because, you know, I had, you know, Queen B was doing her introduction. So I didn't get a chance to tell everybody. So Miss Smith was my health teacher in middle school. She was my gym teacher in high school. And she was my cheerleading coach the entire way. And uh, we used to spend the night at her house. We used to go out all the time. She used to take us out to eat. We used to wear our clothes. We used to be play in our closets. <laughs> we used to do all of that for a number of years. So, you know, when everybody's talking about the mentoring and yes. the fact that you're there for everybody and what you do for everybody, how do we all fit in that little Jetta? I don't even know. But anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> Miss Smith had a black Jetta, but all of us yes. squeezed into that black Jetta. I'm trying to figure out how we did that because yeah. there was so many of us. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Stop saying then. that because that was not right. I wasn't supposed to. No, you wasn't supposed to squeeze <laughs> all of us in there. But I mean, you did, though. I but did. either way, my point is, uh, you know, with with um, 
Lolita and, and Queen B talking about how much you are always there for everybody. You are always there yes. for everybody. So yes. you're not only a coach on the field, you're a coach in life. You're a mentor on the field. You're a mentor in life. You're a mentor in the classroom. Yeah, my life coach. And, and and you know and that's what you're supposed to do. So and you're, and you're doing it and you're living up to it. So you're using, definitely using all of your works. And look at my products. Whoop. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I just want to say about Janae. Janae is a phenomenal cheerleader. I don't know if you've ever seen her cheer before. Yes. But uh -huh. Janae is more phenomenal than you were, Toya. Let me tell <laughs> you. I have to say that. I'm sorry. But Janae, it's, it's mind-blowing to see. It's okay. And people don't know <laughs> right. that Janae can't hear. But that's the, the thing that, that, let me tell you something. It, the thing that really not baffles me but uh, makes me smile is the fact that you did this for a number of years. And it is a chap. First of all, let me tell you some cheering. Just coordination is just a challenge in itself. Everyone is not fit to be a cheerleader. Some, no, ma'am. It's it's a, it's a challenge to listen, some. Listen, listen. I've seen no Janae. Uh, yeah, I wasn't Janae, coordinated no, when I first started Janae, either. But look, Janae, I've seen. Can I just be honest with you? I've set for tryouts. <laughs> I can remember some trials. We still laugh at some of them. Yes, trials. I'm, I'm gonna just, just tell you. Gonna just so tell it's you. it's not for you to to have all of this and be able to you know keep up and to be able to you know actually learn coordination because you said you didn't have it. But for you to do all of that, it is just dynamic in itself. Thank you. But you just don't do that because I don't want to put you in a box on the show. I want to, to I want to um, show people what else you do too. You oh, also okay. yes, you have your own business. Yes. It's <laughs> businesses, businesses i'm sorry <laughs> and tell us what you do um well my first business was of course my makeup business faces by nay um and I, she beats faces to the oh gods God, really? yes okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes i do makeup for many different occasions whatever you like i'm affordable as well <laughs> Um, yeah, 17 year old entrepreneur doing makeup. I also have a waist bead business. I make yes. waist oh, beads. For a holiday party. She can do a makeup. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But go back and tell them that not only do you do makeup for people, but you do face painting. Yes, yes. I oh, yes. I do face painting. Mm -hmm. I do special effects makeup for Halloween. That's like one of my bigger things. That's what I like to How'd do. How'd you learn to do that, though? YouTube, really? Wow. Yeah, you YouTube. Know these teenagers, I swear. These YouTube comes a long way, but it's like I, I draw as well. So like I learned that. So you're that already a natural artist. Artist, yes. Anyway. Okay. So you just perfected it. That's yes. all you did. Okay. Basically, so it's like you know how some people like they might watch a makeup tutorial on YouTube, but like it come out looking crazy because they don't yeah. really know what they're doing. <laughs> I, I I never really had like a bad turnout like when it came okay. to makeup because I am an artist. Like I do draw. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen your Instagram page, which is like everything. And I saw what you did to somebody's um, child, and uh, you did Chucky on, uh, right? Yeah. You did Chucky. What, what's his name? Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah. We call him man, 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 I saw that. But and I wanted to use his government. But <laughs> but um, I saw how you did that, and I was like, oh my god! Like he really liked Chucky. Like. But did you see the one with the hair? Yes. What? That was amazing. It blew my mind. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't get, I didn't get that either. Okay, so we have makeup, but she does. We do, we do movies as well. We do film, and it's funny because in one of the the, the uh, films that we were in, they had to do zombie painting. Remember, um, one of the scenes we did, and we had to, they had to do yes. zombies. Yes, and so so people do that on set. Like I've, I watched somebody do that, and it's not. No, easy. it's definitely a it's not easy. Movie. Yeah, it's and a lucrative and it pays and well. I, yeah. I also did a um, short film with Amir. Amir Prime, that's his name on Instagram. Okay. He mm -hmm. has a short film coming out next year in March. Don't call me. I really, I, I forgot the title of the movie. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> I just did a short film. He wow. was. It was like basically about like cheating and stuff, and like the girl basically tried to kill him and stuff. But she was just stabbing up everybody. So basically, so I did like a lot you. of stab wounds and all of that. Oh wow! A that's lot good. of different things. So you have so, the experience, right? That's yes, great. which that's is good. Great. That's really good. So you right. learn how to work around time and stuff. Like, this mm -hmm. got to get done at this time. You can't really mm -hmm. take your time on Absolutely. This. We've seen that. Yes. yes. We've seen that a lot. Mm -hmm. wow. So what else besides makeup? Because you said multiple businesses. Yeah. I do waist beads, like I said. And oh, ink oh, with oh, oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's the holiday season. I need waist beads. I got a holiday party. Yes. I'm just saying. We need we, our we, makeup done. We need things. Yeah, we do. Am I thinking that you're going to have something to show your waist so you can see that waist bead? No. 
Yeah, I mean, no, but you know, waist beads are more than just showing it. Yes, you, know, you use waist beads to like tone, tone your, 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 your shape. Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. A yeah. yeah. You keep track of your weight with waist yeah, beads because you, you know track. it won't go over. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. what they yeah. use them for, Miss Smith. Yeah. Some people oh, need. <laughs> so, yeah, I think waist beads. I make anklets, body chains, many different things out of beads and string. That's what I do. And then I also, I bake. I do a lot of baking. I cut down on it a little bit. But, yeah, baking, I bake in school. I would sell cupcakes and stuff, cookies. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You just. Sure. Yeah, she does model. Yeah, I she model models. as well. And your dresses be everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank okay. You. Wow. All right. So ultimately, do you have one thing or maybe a couple of things that you really want to do? I, I mean, because you're, you're a senior now in high school, right? Yes. This is a, a excellent year for you. Yes. So when you graduate, what do you want to do? What's, what's your plan? Um, I'm looking into going to school for aesthetics. Okay. Are you guys familiar with aesthetics? Mm -hmm. I know what the topic is. Yes. Mm -hmm. do? Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. You can Aesthetic explain it to the show. <laughs> Go ahead. Aesthetics is basically like everything that has to do with the beauty of the face. Like you would get certified with Michael Dern. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cleans cleansing pills and all of that. Like makeup, waxing, that mm -hmm. type of stuff of that nature. Okay. Then I look forward to going on to special effects school after that to um, perfect my skills in special effects. Nice. Yes. Nice. Let me know. I may call you because I work for a production company. I'm yes. a production manager for a production company. So we're always looking for makeup artists. We're always looking for new people who are in the game, who are looking to, you know, we work on a lot of short films. We have some feature length films, too. And we have some yes. um, series. Uh, that's what Queen Bee was talking about. A couple of series that we had to do that we had the zombies were coming in. It was a funny series, a comedic yeah. series. But um, we're always looking for people. So definitely. And it's all about funny. networking. Yeah. Definitely it's all about networking. So we'll put you you know, where you need to be. Right. I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm excited to see what you do. Mom, <laughs> your, uh, <laughs> your take, tell us something about Janae. Let's, let's, let's lighten it up a little bit. Something about, about Janae, something funny about Janae, something, um, uh, we don't, we wouldn't know about Janae. Um, you pretty much would know a whole lot because, I'm always posting. Yes, you do. Anything. A lot of things I can't post because Miss Smith is my friend. <laughs> so she'd be like, I better not see that picture. Hilarious. Like, you know, for graduation, you get the proof. Oh, yes. She, Definitely. You better not put that on your page. Yes. So well, I, I'm supposed to be talking about That's Janae. because Janae never gets to post anything of herself. Because her mother, you sound like my daughter. You sound like my daughter. My daughter says the same thing. Does. I said, let Janae post her own things sometimes, and then I wait. You're just proud, You're right. right? Like I'm excited for her Think from the child's point of view. <laughs> um, and, and as you see, I have Janae. Uh, is that just blink your eyes right, twice? Right. Team, team Janae. If you feel, yeah. do you <laughs> just blink <laughs> twice? Yes. Yeah, no, this is hold up. Her no, look. Can we look? Yeah. This one, yes. we have that one. Yes, look. <laughs> that was just last yes, time. it was. That was, that was for senior. Yes, that, that was, was senior. It, wait, but that's game, listen. Right? The senior day. Did you see me with? No, did you wait, see me with? What did you say? Her? The senior. You said I was at the senior game. Yeah. 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 Right. Homecoming. One of my oh, okay. homecoming. Yeah, my nice. coworker. She made. She put all of that together. Uh -huh. I, I I did a thousand pictures, mm. so all of them are not there. But my coworker. <laughs> Help me with that. And because I went all out for Janae, I was like, uh, You got to do it for make, I everybody make else. Something for the, somebody else. Me, I'm, I am I can't do nothing. I asked another co worker, Could you do a little something for me? So I gave her something. So all the seniors had, had that. I did had, see that. Had, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. I did that's see that. Nice. Because I am the cheer mom. Like, oh, right. I've been a cheer mom since 2006. When Janae was just, she really didn't even have anything to do but just run around and look cute. Yeah, I she, held she had the part. Little picture. Her little, yes. Yeah, that That's still when she didn't quite have it. <laughs> right. It, well, and you know what? And that's what I want to ask. I want to ask Janae. So we, we talked about, you yes. know, your... Um, the fact that you you are a cheerleader. We talked about all of your businesses. I want to know, what are some of the challenges? Has hearing impairment... Um, 
created any challenges in any of these areas for you? As far as cheer? Yes. Um, not necessarily. Okay. No, not really. What would you tell someone, um, anyone that actually has, because there are some people there um, in school, in your school, maybe in junior schools, in middle schools or whatever. What exactly would you tell someone that has gone through what you've gone through um, as far as hearing impairment? Because you don't always have the esteem that you have. And thank God you have a great right. system behind right, you or beside right, right. you. But there are some people that do not have that system. So they're bashful and they're embarrassed. What exactly would you tell them? Um, How did you triumph through it? I would I would tell them, like, it's like it's not really anything to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you... You, it's really about who you are as a person. Like having a disability or an impairment shouldn't down you to not do something. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, I do most of the stuff that I do. Like I, I, there's nothing that's gonna stop me. Right. A lot of people have a, they tend to use excuses for certain stuff. Like they're sad, they can't do this and this and that because of this and that. That doesn't make a difference at right. the end of the day. I've seen people with many impairments. We have professional athletes. Absolutely. With hearing aids. Maybe like certain disabilities, no, maybe not a leg, prosthetic right. legs. Right. Like it's people who can do anything with a disability, with a disability, anything. So you could do it all if you put your mind to it. But I also have to say kudos to her mother because yes, you have to have that foundation. And yes, she do. Lolita Porter has been her number one supporter. Absolutely. And the reason why this young lady is sitting here right now, right. self-confident, right. mm -hmm. and not caring about that hearing aid that she's wearing, is because you of her mother. You can't see the hearing no, aid at all. Yeah. But you know, Janae takes that thing out and slings it all around <laughs> the place. But Lolita, yeah. if it were not for this woman, and I say to Janae all the time, this woman is your blessing. Yeah. Because even though you aren't her biological child, mm -hmm. She gave you this life. Right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so the reason why you have the confidence that you have is because this woman was always behind her 24-7. Right. So she has a lot of the qualities that Lolita has. No, definitely. Um, You know, and staying on point and handling your business and being your own boss. That was from a mother. This is, this is, this is, and I, we normally do that pretty much at the, yes, kudos yeah, to her. To mom. Um, yes. And that's 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 what I wanted to say um, before we end. We're not ending now, but I just wanted to say this: um, you are amazing, amazing because um, we see the product, we see we see what you've done, we see how much you've poured into her, um, we see again taking a child that is not yours and raising them is a ministry in itself. You know, it's someone else's child with someone else's DNA. Um, my mother did that with four of us actually more than that but you know four of us at different different times and it wasn't easy you know it was a challenge and you know um sometimes when you do you don't know what the child has or the disabilities or anything sometimes you happen upon that like we had seizures as kids my mom didn't sign up for that but you know, it just happened and you just go with that. So doctor's appointment, children specialize. I'm very familiar with that because I had to go do that with, you know, with my brother. Um, we all had to do that with, you know, for uh, one of his disabilities. But I say that to say dynamic you are. You know, I don't care what, you know, they say. Uh, anyone says, let's just put that on the table. You are dynamic. We see um, your work. We see the finished product. We see, like you said, the confidence. Janae walks around, look, and she always has walked around like, I'm good. You know, nothing, you know, diva in her own right, honestly, since I've known her. And kudos to you Thanks. for doing that and getting her to the point where, you know, where she needs to be. Because this girl, not only she does school, she does cheer, she does her businesses, but she works too. Right. You know, we didn't even touch that, but she works too. And you're an honor roll student. I didn't even get to that part yet. But you're an honor roll student as well. And again, you can't, you only as great as your parent is. You know that, right? Right. <laughs> and I, I, pu I push her. Like, my, I have, before I had a strong support team. But now, I don't have a team. I have Miss Smith. Right, right. So, every everything... If we wasn't on air or me talking to other people, 
anywhere. Everyone knows Miss Smith. They know her, but they don't know her. <laughs> but everything is Miss Smith. She she helps a lot. A lot. She keeps. And me I driving. saw you get your car. I was like, oh, I watched the video like five times. I wanted to cry myself um, when you got your car. And you drive. Yeah. <laughs> I drive. <laughs> And you drive. What your car is cute. Thank it's you. really cute. Were you surprised? Yeah, I was. I yeah. was very surprised. She came out like I'm like, is any tear going to drop? No. At all. No. no. But <laughs> and all that, I got the car, but the whole little presentation, that was Miss Smith. Right. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah. We're gonna do this. Yeah. Every But she deserves it. I, you know, honestly, she she deserves it. She deserves it. You're stay on the path, Janae. You're a dynamic young lady. And we have to highlight you and let you know this is what comes out of Plainfield. A lot of people because th yeah. this is the thing. A lot of people. Right. A lot of people don't um, see that. You know, they say a lot of things about us. Yeah. But we know they say a lot of things about us. Oh, them Plainfield girls or old oh, Plainfield. Um, and it's funny because me and her had a debate one time. We'll do sidebar later, but me and Miss Smith, yes, we had a debate. She said, "What a debate? <laughs> we had a debate one time, um, and I shouldn't have challenged a teacher in PHS at all, <laughs> at all. Not even challenged, but you know, me being a parent and her being a teacher. Um, there's a lot of good things I will say that comes out of Plainfield, and we need to highlight that. And I chose to highlight you because to be an overcomer, to do what you've done." And you're not even, you're not even, you didn't even graduate as a, you know, you're not even, you are a senior, but you haven't graduated. So you haven't even touched life yet. So we have um, someone who is watching the show right yes. now that says they have a scholarship that they would like you, for you to apply I for. Forward. Yes. Um, so we are going to get, uh, <laughs> we are going to get that information for you yes. short, uh, right after the show. We'll yeah. get that information okay. over to you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes. Have you started applying to schools or any of those things yet? Um, not, not really, yet. because I'm just interested in that one path. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, okay. I can't really apply because it's cosmetology school. It's a mm -hmm. trade school. I can't really apply until I get out of high school with right. a high school mm -hmm. diploma. So there's not really much I can do. Mm -hmm. But I've looked into applying for, for um, Raritan Valley. Mm -hmm. They have a workforce training program mm -hmm. where they offer my program. So I do look forward into applying to them Listen, pretty soon. Okay. Go to Raritan, okay. homie. Go. You know why? No, no, no. What'd you tell her? We went to Rutgers. We got all this debt. Go. Listen, my son is in a community college right now. And I don't mind paying that bill. I'm just telling you, I, I don't want, you know, and we need to tell our young people this. The name is not important. No, it's not. It's not important. And a lot, a the lot name, of times listen. when you get to those big four-year universities, they will tell you, why don't you take classes over here first? And then come and to it's us. half the price. And then you can. Uh, the reason why I'm telling you this is because no, seriously, um, we we went into we went you know fresh out of high school we went to Rutgers and a lot of my friends we went to Pil you know Willie P who were us we go Hampton all of us went and I'm be honest the debt that we racked up is insane mm. is insane so I will tell any young person um, I don't care what the name is <laughs> I need you to go to school. And I need you to get a degree because a, a degree from Raritan or Union County is the same as any other degree. It's the same. You do the two year and do you, you do two years somewhere else at a four year community college. But you don't you have half the debt. And by that, you work your way up, you get your grades and you apply for scholarships just like somebody. It's always somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. So as long as you maintain your GPA, you're good. Then then they pay you. OK. Yes, I have to. No, I have to say that I have to say it because debt is no joke when it comes to uh, college. Mm. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And trade school is not bad. What? It's not bad. I, well, one thing that I my fault, <laughs> one thing that I realized is like I have a lot of friends who really don't like 
it's like certain stuff that they want to study that doesn't even describe who they are. Like, right. You want to go to the school for this and this and that, but like, like what? Like that makes no sense. Because like, why don't you study yeah. something like that's more simpler, like something that you will find yourself doing in the future. Something they just want to do something because they watch Law and Order on TV or something like that. So let me tell ta- let me tell you why you got it right. So the reason why you got it is because you're going to love what you do. Yes. That's the difference. A lot of times... My mom and Miss Smith pushed me to that. Yes. And no, because... And, and listen, because this is the wisdom right here. A lot of times we, we go and you... In our generation, we went to school because somebody told us what to do. Right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, somebody told us what to do. Oh, be this. Oh, do that. Oh, do this. You'll make a lot of money. And then you do that and be like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't. So do what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. That's because I tell Janae, your hands are blessed. Right. So your gift will make room for you. Right, absolutely. And your gift will make money for you. Absolutely. God blessed you with these hands, so that's where your money lies. Absolutely. You must do that. That's the, If we stop chasing what we think we can make a lot of mm-hmm. money, because money doesn't equal success in my life, absolutely. in my mind. But if we stop chasing what we think will make us a lot of money and look at what we have that we already possess, he already gave us everything we need. Right. So all you have to do is think of what that thing is that you possess, and that will make money for you. Absolutely. It's already here. He took your, you don't have your hearing, but he blessed your hand. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. That's a word. That's a, that's a word right there. Do I pay him? Let <laughs> 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 me take up an offering now. Or just... <laughs> <laughs> yes yes mm-hmm. i just want to pour into you and i want to tell you just take take the wisdom you know thank your mom um thank uh miss smith and i know listen every day is not an easy day not an easy day for moms because i am a mother so sometimes i got to be like oh i'm sorry i, bu- I bugged out you know i apologize <laughs> look at this <laughs> just blink just blink if you're saying yes <laughs> Lonely, don't look at her. Just play. Because then when blink. we get home, <laughs> I'm take my little notes and get home and be like, no. when we was there, um, you said, and why did you? But, but this is my thing. Um, you know, it's not an easy task. Parenting is not easy um, by far. It is it is rewarding, but it is also difficult. Can can I, can I say yeah, something of course. with parenting? Janae is not a parent, but 10 years of her life, mm-hmm. I was a foster mom. Right. So she always shared me. She shared me <laughs> from for she shared me for at least thirteen years Absolutely. of her life. I remember. Yes. So three, three, three of which I had a family member, and ten being a foster parent. As she got older. She helped me. You had a revolving door it, at right. one point. I did. And three, I, say every year oh, you she had home? another okay, kid. You like, I'm telling you. You need a home? Like, I know. I remember. You can come. You need a home? You yeah, bring she sister do. Bring yeah, brother. Don't she? She'd be like, your brother. look at how she dressed. I just... Let me just come. I, let me just take her for a month, like, <laughs> right? No, I'm serious. That was her. So, so Janae, she she helped me a lot when yeah. as the kids were coming through and through. She helped. She really helped. When Janae was 15, it was time for me to let it go. Yes, because I needed to focus on her absolutely and make sure she was good. So, parenting, she she. Help me. Right. But that's not what she's looking to do. She I've, look she looks at other people that have children and she wonder why. Wondering. Like why do they do that? And yes, I'm always like, oh my God. taking some like, She is no Jan- uh, Janae is into herself, which rightfully <laughs> so. Like, no. And, and rightfully so. You supposed to be like that. At her age? No. I'm like, where's the next look? I got my car. What? Look. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got my car. I got my, look, I got my, like, I'm going to the mall. Like, this is, I mean, you worried about those things you should worry about. And I like well, I want to know. Uh, so, I want to know, have you ever thought of speaking out uh, for other teenagers who have maybe had um, impairments like yours or just your story in general? Have you ever thought about speaking out or maybe touring? doing some speaking to help other teenage girls um 
I've done touring, but not, not touring, but I've done like speaking, speaking. about mm-hmm. my adoption, not mm-hmm. more so my hearing. Mm-hmm. I do look forward to doing that though. Okay. Yeah. But, um, you're open to that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I do poetry. I do poetry. And, um, mm-hmm. I made a poem. I wrote a poem mm-hmm. back in 2016. Okay. I did hear and that, Janine. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to tell you how, but I did. <laughs> but yeah, I wrote a poem about my adoption. It was more so dedicated to my mom mm-hmm. to like give her kind of thanks for doing what she had did. Mm-hmm. And it explains the whole story within mm-hmm. my poem. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. That's what I have done. And that like it inspires certain kids who went to that school like, oh, you're adopted. I'm adopted too. Yeah. Like, right. But, uh, like, uh, thank you. Like, you really no, but inspire I, me. It's, it's definitely good because, number one, we all know, well, we're all females in this room. So we all know being a 16, 15, 14, 17, 18-year-old girl is not easy. No. You know what I mean? So if you hear your peers who are going through things or overcome some things um, and it's coming from you and yes. you're in their age group, I mean, we can say certain things, but, you know, your age group thinks we're old at this point, which we're really not. We were really just in high school yesterday. yesterday. But, um... <laughs> Miss Smith, don't don't say Look, that. she was like so, yes. <laughs> she was like yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> but why my, do I feel so old? <laughs> <laughs> no, but my, my point is you can inspire your peers. Yeah. You can inspire other young girls. Just give them some encouragement and you can help them through some issues that they may be having. So definitely look into, you know, speaking about different things that you've gone through to help others. So Oh wow! Oh yes, I had went to a um prom with one of my longtime friends, Vashon. Um, his mother Shelly. She's I model for her, so she she wanted me to go to the prom with her son because I'm hearing a period too. So he goes to a um predominantly like it's I think it was a hearing. it's a it's a school for for hearing like the deaf. Oh. So I had went to the prom and like it was like amazing to me like to see like children. Like, who are just like me. It's like the wow. whole room full of those people. It was like, wow. And they just living life and just yes, having like fun. and Dancing, but, too. But like, but it's they, like, okay. Like. They, were sign, they were signed. Okay. Sign, sign language. Sign they language. Were, so she didn't know. But prior to the prom, um, Shelly invited Janae wow. and one of her friends to go to Top Golf, And it was for um, the Hearing Association. The, mm-hmm. the the kids that were part of that so she had a chance to be around them and see how they communicated how they you know make a mistake and you don't know sign language at all n- n- i know certain things I, I do know certain things okay um when i had went to the prom with my friend he had gave me a little pep talk like this means this this means that this means thank you like all of that like he gave me a little pep talk i do know a little bit of stuff i can do the whole alphabet in sign language but i can't actually have a full conversation conversation. i want to spell everything out for you like (laughs) (laughs) we we've been yeah absolutely looking but we can't find so if anyone out there has any connections with to, yeah with something with like signing because we will at, put that in she the can just yeah. wake up one day and she can't she can't hear i guess we would need to do it too but somebody's like way YouTube. to go janae Start, uh, um yeah so wow oh. no, de- definitely that's definitely a good skill to have as well you know, like you said, if you wake up, no matter if you wake up one day or again, like I said, I'm, I'm all about giving back. So mm-hmm. these peers, you know what I mean? Like you said, you went to the school and there's other people like you, but peers, if they can't, um, if they can't hear completely and you're able to sign to yeah. them to tell them your story or sign to them to be able to help them, that would be, you know, a good thing too. Phenomenal. So, yeah. you know, I agree with it. Um, KT. Yes, ma'am. You're not going to be quiet in the yeah, corner I know. over there. We, we, I know. You've been very, very quiet on the show today. Well, I've actually been very quiet, too. But uh, you've been very quiet on the show today. I just want to know, what are your thoughts? You are a product of Plainfield High School. We mm-hmm. are, are all are a product of Plainfield yeah, High School. I, I just, yeah, we always Yes, we always do. Yeah, always. <laughs> I, I, I just, right, she's so soft-spoken. Mm-hmm. So I just want to know, what, what are your thoughts on, on today and what you see coming out of Plainfield oh, yes. High right now? Um, I'm at you actually in, inspired me with your story and a lot of things that you said to be so um, 
um, knowledgeable and articulate and just knowing what you want to do and where you want to go already, like that's, you're already ahead of the game. And yes. um, one thing I'll say is something that my father always told me is just always speak your truth. Never be afraid of it, you know, and that's a good thing that you've already, um, you know, spoke about, like, your adoption, your hearing, and, you know, you're encouraging, you know, other people. So that's that's just wonderful, and you're in good hands. Um, yeah, thank uh, you. A million percent. Ms. Smith has always been just thorough and, to me, uh, at least, you know, a sweetheart, you know, um, I had PE with Ms. Smith. I wasn't doing no cheerleading. <laughs> like that. I played basketball. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Ms. Smith has always been just a gem. So, you're you're definitely in good hands. And I can't wait to see what else, you know, you yeah. have in store. Definitely. Well, during basketball season, if you have a chance to come to a game, because Janae, Ms. Smith said, okay, the way she is is because of me, but her cheering. Mm -hmm comes from Miss Smith. Right. She taught her from little yes. so Miss Smith makes cheerleaders. Everyone is not a cheerleader that on the cheerleader oh, we squad. Know. But after you deal with Miss Smith, she make you become that cheerleader. Oh we know. And this is that cheerleader. Because we had one cheerleader. And she oh, definitely come out. Big Miss. Oh you're oh wow. Huh? Oh, you're captain. Oh, you're okay. team captain. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm also senior vice president for my class as well. Nice. So I have a lot of leadership oh roles. Oh, I know. <laughs> nice. I know. Nice, 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 nice. Mirror, huh? Yeah, right? Is there a, um, <laughs> a game schedule? Because I haven't been to a playing for high school game in a while. When, when know, we get the schedule, okay. when we get the schedule, I'll give it. Yeah. To Basima. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I'm Queen B on the show. Oh. Yeah. Queen B. Queen B. It's, all, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Queen B. Queen B Sorry. on the show. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, listen. I Queen B. Oh, yes, good. please. Good. I got to pull it up. This is about you. Gotta, it's been a minute. It's all good. Poem. Okay. Please it's read You know I'm a poet, so go do your thing. Wait, well, uh, matter of fact, we can't, can't have. She said, "Yeah, I know. We have to. Talk we have to talk." Um, <laughs> yeah, talk she was like, "Do your, your grown folk, show, yeah, talk, talk about yourself, yourself <laughs> till I get it right and ready." <laughs> anyway, um, you want one to... thing we do, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, I was saying one thing we do encourage here is always giving back. So whatever it is your your story is, anybody who comes in sits in these yes. seats. We always encourage that you mentor and talk to people who are like you or people who have your same story yes. because it's all about making sure you take care of the next person. It means nothing just to have the gifts for yourself, but it means everything to have those gifts and to be able to share them, not only share them with the world, but, but to be able to help someone with them. I just want to um, really quick. You, you found it? Oh, yeah. Found oh, good, it. good. I just want to, um, like I said, I always, you know, um, my my heart is definitely um shut up my heart is definitely to um to lolita at this point um it just again it just reminds me of my story and i just want to say kudos again to whom you raised mm -hmm. um in this town mm -hmm. you know what i mean um the street sometimes is a vulture to our children and i'm i'm just happy that you actually raised someone productive um someone who is a leader someone who um didn't let her challenges dictate who she becomes. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I just appreciate you for that, seriously. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But Janae, go mm -hmm. with your poem. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> March 11th, 2001, an unwanted child was born. Born at home, but left in a hospital in hopes to find the parents to care for baby girl on their own. When baby girl finally found the mother, she was just three days old. Baby girl now has a story to be told. Baby girl just doesn't know right now how much she is blessed. Blessed enough to bless the best, the less, but never the less. Blessed because somebody loved her. Loved her enough to take her in and fill in the place for what she was missing. Missing a mother. Because the woman who gave birth to her was not able to be that significant other. But all that doesn't matter. Because baby girl finally has a mother. Baby girl is three years old now. Her adoption has been finalized. Baby girl has finally realized that this is my real mother. 
this is 17 years later now, 17 years later, baby girl finally stands on stage to tell her story. Because guess what? I am baby girl. And this is my story. And I thank my biological mother for doing what was best for me. I baby girl am blessed. Blessed enough to bless the best, the less, but never the less. Blessed to have a mother of color who is that significant other. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm a G. Not today, by Seema. <laughs> I wrote this Not when today. I was 14. 14. Wow. I wrote that poem. I'm 17 now, so. Amazing. 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 Any yeah. any uh, final thoughts before? Unfortunately, our show ends in like two minutes. Two minutes, yes. But uh, any final thoughts? Acknowledgements, anything yeah, you want to say? Yeah, anything you want to say, shout outs you want to give. Yes. Um, Lolita, also Miss Smith. Um, shout out to um, Amazing Taste. Yes, sir. shout out to Amazing Taste. <laughs> my, my job. We eat there. My mom That's makes good. me go get Everybody the potato salad there. there. Made the taste. They got good food. <laughs> yes. Come support. <laughs> Come support. Okay. Yes. We got Any, good Anything food. else? Anything else? Now, I would like else? to thank my mom mm-hmm. for doing what she does for me. I always, I will also, I will also like to thank my grandmother, mm-hmm. who left a positive impact on my life. Right. Mm-hmm. That's that's my girl. Mm-hmm. Oh. Rest in peace. Okay. I also would like to thank Miss Smith. I'm with her every day. <laughs> <laughs> I always got a question to ask okay. her. Any question? Mr. Fuck had a question. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. ladies, for your next outing on on Janae, she can beat your face. Yeah. Because that's initially uh, the, I first told by C- yes. Queen B. Queen B. That ah. I- your makeup because you you were getting ready to do something. I was like, just let my daughter do it. Yeah. And yeah. I said I was gonna hit her up. Yeah. I got you, I got you, I got okay. you. I just want to thank you all. Like, I, it just, I'm overwhelmed looking at the two of you, the three of you. <laughs> like, this is amazing. Thank you. That you, you are just really amazing. Thank you. And, and I look, and I can remember, see, teachers get to see you when you're not here. Mm-hmm. Right. I saw you when you were there. Mm-hmm. Right. And so the blessing for me is to see you now. Right. Mm-hmm. And, I'm and, and you know the story. And, and I'm know listening. our story. I do. Yes. Yeah, our stories aren't the easiest. No, no they're not. not. None of ours. Amazing. So I want to <laughs> thank you. I, I really enjoyed this segment. I really did. Thank you. Thank you. And thank thank you guys for having me. Of course. Of course. KT, what you got to say? I was going to say, Miss Smith, it wasn't that bad, was it? No. You yeah. were all nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why right. nervous. Queen B, let's go. We got to end the show. What you got to say? I just, I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Um, I just want to say, Janae, just stay on the path. Honestly, um, you got a wisdom in front of you, beside you, um, in back of you. So please, 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 whatever you do, um, please ask those questions. Ask for guidance at all times for everything. No question is a dumb question. That's right. God first. You ask God for whatever you need. (laughs) You ask God for whatever you need. And then you ask them um, for guidance as well. A lot of times children get on a different path because we we do our own thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not saying you can't be your own thing. But please, 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 please ask for guidance. We respect you. We love you. Um... I'm in all of you and I just, I, you're going to go far. I just know you are, you know, and I have hope and, and faith and trust in everything that you do. Um, you're dynamic and you should shine always. Don't dim your light for no one. No one. And you, like I said, Lolita, um, you know, kudos. You. All right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Me. So, First and foremost, for everybody who is tuning in, for everybody who tunes into us every single Tuesday from 7 to 830, like I said in the beginning of the show, we love you guys for watching and we love you guys for listening. Whether you watch on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, tune in or uh, BKS One Radio, the official website, or I said YouTube, we thank you guys uh, for tuning in with us every single week. For you, young lady, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We are actually in the process of starting a mentoring program yes. because, again, uh, we both went to Plainfield High School and we have a a, a, a story that we'll share another time yes. uh, <laughs> with you. But uh, we have been looking into starting a mentoring program and we need young ladies like you to be able to come and to help out because even though you're a senior, there's, there's young girls in middle school who are going through things that we wouldn't even believe and they need help. Right. And so it doesn't, 
really mean anything coming from us but it would mean more coming from you because you you were literally just there but kudos to you for overcoming kudos to you for having the confidence to share your story kudos to you for acknowledging your mother and all of the elders in your life yes. who got you to where you are and nurtured you to the point where you are kudos to your mom for every single thing Everything. you do because you do not have to do no. that some of us even those of us with biological children don't pour into our children the way we should yep. so the fact that you are doing is absolutely amazing you are a Thank blessing you. to her and and you are a blessing to each other miss smith you have been a blessing to everybody for the last i don't know 20 30 40 years now, as ooh. far as i can <laughs> ooh, listen ooh, ooh. listen and uh, listen listen I, I met miss smith in in junior high school i was what 12 so again you have been a blessing for the last 20 30 years of of our lives again you know all of our stories you yes. know her story in particular oh, you know my yes. story in particular these are not any easy life stories but what i'm saying <laughs> is is that you are a blessing thank you thank and, you and and hopefully having you here today has blessed someone else who is listening has blessed even an adult to share um this this broadcast with maybe their teenage daughter yep. who maybe lacks confidence maybe someone who doesn't have an impairment like you but just lacks confidence period yes you can be helping right now you never know if you're just helping one person with your story that's absolutely amazing so kudos to you for being here having the confidence to be here you are definitely going to go far you have a number of talents you're very level-headed yes and god bless you in every single thing you do okay. god bless you mom and every single thing you do what just for for us closing us out tell us how to reach you um because we we also we pride you in the fact that you have businesses so tell us your instagram your facebook all that good stuff because somebody needs their face beats <laughs> and some beads or whatever you do so let us know my um instagram name is faces by nay mm -hmm. that's f-a-c-e-s-b-y-n-a-y faces my business page mm -hmm. So you can reach me on that. And Facebook, my Instagram name is Janae Porter. That's J-A-N-A-Y-P-O-R-T-E-R. -E so okay. you can reach out to me on Facebook through that. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I'm not going to put my phone number out there. No, no, don't. No, no, no don't do that. Oh. Don't do that. Don't no, do don't. That. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I was like, no. No, no. no. Stop no. right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, again, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome back anytime. Anytime you want to do anything, you, you let us know. welcome here. You know you're And we're going to uh, talk so. to you after the show about the scholarship information, yes. about the production company information, and about beating our faces for our holiday party <laughs> on December 15th because I'm going to hold you to that. Yes. In the meantime, DJ KT The Voice can take, you us, take away. us away this week. Thank you, everybody, We love for you watching. guys. Thank, thank you, everybody, you. for listening. And we will see you next week. Same time, you same place. To it's not song, everybody. Go ahead. Because it's all our thing, our check comes up there. Oh. <laughs> and. Uh,